good morning. I hope everyone is doing fabulous today. Of course, it is an, another super awesome, wonderful day. I got something on my hand. Okay, let's see. What are we going to chat about this morning? Um, other than it is a fabulous day, and you know it's getting closer and closer to Halloween. It's already the 15th. Hey, Pearl, how's it going? Oh, by the way, Pearl, I don't want you to interrupt anything, but I've seen your videos. You are doing fabulous. Good job. Um, if anyone is watching, um, Pearl is doing some awesome videos, and you might want to take a look at them because she is doing a really awesome job and giving a lot of great content out there. Okay, guys. Um, I've had a lot of different comments on, and I've got two computers going here. Um, actually, I got a new laptop this weekend, and I haven't got everything transferred over from this laptop to the other one, so I'm in the process of doing that, and it's going to be great. It's going to be faster. It is faster, and it's going to have so much going on, and it's just fabulous. It's just a matter of getting everything. I didn't know I had so much stuff on my other computer. I've got a lot of stuff on it. Thank you guys for joining. Welcome, welcome. Okay. Um, as you can see, my header today is you want to be wealthy and you aren't sure how to get started. And I've got ready to unleash the inner you. And the reason I did this is because I've put out several different broadcasts, just posts um, in general, to just to help people to, you know, get motivated and just to give a little inspiration. So, and I've had a lot of different comments, um, a lot of just private messaging me, hello. And that's fine. I have no problems with getting it in Messenger. So I've had a lot of that going on. And from the post that I did this weekend, um, I'm just going to elaborate on that. And I'm going to give you through some steps that a lot of us do and continue to do every single day. Okay, to be a wealthy person, to be the person that you want to be. Now, every person's version or interpretation I should say of being wealthy is different and it should be because we are all uniquely different people and so we should all have our own ideas and our own inspiration that we get coming to us from the universe from God and so if you want to be the wealthy person that you want to be whether it be just in maybe having the money or the time freedom focus on the time freedom not the money okay that is wealth in itself when you have time freedom the money will come and in order now get this part guys because this is really hold on let me go down here hello hello when you Focus on the freedom that you want or the ability to buy whatever you want for your family. The more you focus on what you're giving to other people or what you're giving out to the universe, back to God, what you're being happy about, that is wealth in itself. And with that, the money will come. It will come to you. But in order to keep that wealth, you have to be the person of wealth. And this is going to sound strange to a lot of people, but this is the way it actually works. Is when you become the person of wealth, then you will receive and keep what you are manifesting in your life. It's just, it's a huge thing. You have to receive and keep it that is where a lot of people and you've heard about a lot of people who win the lottery win hundreds of millions of dollars and within five years they're broker than when they got the money why is that why does it go away as fast as they get it and you'll see so many testimonials to this of people that have won big big lotteries but did not keep it this is hello this is so true so when you become the person 
that needs to be the wealthy person that has the ability to keep what you want, to keep your wealth, to keep your freedom, to keep the lifestyle that you are desiring. You have to be the person of wealth. And one good way to do this, to become that person, you have to go look deep inside yourself. And this is really important. Deep inside yourself. And see yourself as having what you want. See you being that person. A good way to do it is wear the best clothes that your budget will afford you. Wear the best clothes that you have or that you can buy. Always wear the best you can buy. And always be in the best posture that a wealthy person would have. Now, take a look at people, and you can look online at, you know, real life people, not commercials or anything like that. But if you look at documentaries or something like that about, you know, people, or, oh, let me see, what's another way to do that? Uh, the best way is if you're not sure what a wealthy person, how their posture is and what they look like and how they are, Go to a really ritzy, ritzy, um, maybe a hotel. Maybe you could go into the coffee shop there or something. I just If you can't afford a whole lot, why don't you just sit down and have a latte or a mocha or just, you know, something you could sit there and watch people coming through and watch the wealthy people, how they project themselves, how they hold themselves. And I'm not telling you to copy anyone. I'm telling you to take what they're projecting and how their mannerism is and use it for yourself. Use those traits for you in your own way. Okay? And then another thing you can do, always wear the best you can wear. Maybe you can't afford to go buy Calvin Klein or Louis Vuitton or whatever, you know, boss or whatever you will have or whatever you are thinking that the wealthy have, which they do. So if you, Estee Lauder is another one that's probably a big one, but wear the best that you can afford and make sure it's pressed and clean and neat and, you know, tidy to where you're tidy. So if you're always tidy and you have that projection of wealth, don't you think it would be easier to attract that wealth to you? And if you walk through like a ritzy hotel, like the Hilton or the Ritz or, you know, some, whatever is in your area, the, the most expensive room hotel that you have in your area, doesn't cost anything to walk through the lobby or and to go into the shops there walk into the shops with attitude with posture with being someone maybe you're not yet but you will be they don't know that the clerk does not know that all they see is you walking in being with posture glancing at the things that they say can they help you Say, oh, I'm just browsing right now. I'm just trying to kill some time or, you know, whatever you want to say. It's very important that you stay in posture. You know, just look at things like, oh, well, you know, oh, I have one of those already. Or, you know, you could just pretend. Pretend that you have everything that, you know, they're showing you. Oh, I have that model already, you know. And in your mind's eye, you're telling your subconscious, oh, well, I have that so I can afford for that it's posture and it's a way once you get into the play into the role play of this little scenario that you've created the more and more your subconscious is going to be wanting to give you everything that you want another thing you can do is you're not there yet yet is the key word guys you're not there yet. So make sure your house is neat and tidy. Not like my office full of Christmas presents waiting to be wrapped. 
but <laughs> just make sure your house is neat and tidy. And if you've looked at any of the um, wealthy magazines, you know, they have um, interior magazines from the, the rich and famous or whatever it's called. I can't remember. Luxury something. I can't remember the name of that magazine. But um, you know which one I'm talking about if you just glance at them at the back, down the magazine aisle. Look at some of those where they've staged homes and they've taken photos of, of wealthy people's homes. If you noticed, it's not so much the style of furniture that they have. It's how it's placed and how it's not cluttered. If you noticed, the wealthy people do not have a lot of little knickknacks all over the place. Why would they want them? It's just clutter. You don't want clutter in your wealthy lifestyle. You want it to be clean and crisp and and then you'll be able to follow through on that. You'll be able to follow the path that you are creating for yourself. And when you create this path, like I said, straighten your home up. Get rid of all the little nicky nacky things that you've got laying all over the place. Make it crisp and clean. You can have a little doily things out, and that's table runners. That's beautiful. Just try to make your home as classic and as classy as you can. And that's going to help your mindset. If you're living in the atmosphere that you want to attract to you, if you are living that lifestyle, don't you suppose, just suppose for a moment, what your life will be like, will be like, as soon as you are receiving what you want in your life. It's all about you, what your mindset is, and what you are receiving to you. I know it sounds like it is simple, and you know what? It is, but it can be really hard to be in the beginning of this. Number one is your mindset is constantly thinking of what you don't have. Your mindset is focused on the lifestyle you have grown up with or the things you've been told as you were growing up. You know, that maybe, oh, we don't have that. We can't afford that. You know, it's not in our budget. You know, or we just, you'll never have that. You never have those Nikes, those Reeboks, or, you know, and, oh, Louis Vuitton. Oh, heaven sakes, you'll never be rich enough for that. You have to get rid of that thinking and that, you know, whatever thought it is. If you can afford it, go out and buy yourself whatever you can afford. I'm not telling you anybody to go in debt and get in something silly. Buy yourself a really nice jacket. Do you know how much more special and how more much more wealthy you feel if you're wearing something nice? Buy yourself a nice jacket. Doesn't matter what the price is. Maybe you could get it on sale. It's a big plus, right? Getting it on sale. Nobody has to know how much you paid for it. They don't even have to know what the label is that you're wearing. All they have to know is it looks good on you. It's crisp. It's clean. It's tailored for you. It looks good. That's what matters. And as you're building your lifestyle, keep in mind that this money, whatever it is, you're going to have to attract it. You're going to have to work for it in some way. Excuse me, guys. Let me get rid of that pop-up there. Okay, you're going to have to attract it and work for it in some way. You've heard the phrase, um, you get what you give. So you have to give out there to the people, to the universe, to whatever. You're, if you're building a business, you have to give your time, your energy, you have to give in order to receive. Excuse me, guys. I've got two computers pop, 
going on here trying to load this stuff and it's just having a stinker. Okay, sorry about that. So, as you are building your business or you're building, you know, your lifestyle, keep in mind that your home business is going to project you with a lifestyle that you are wanting, needing, desiring. When you put that out there, it's going to the energy is going to come through in the ads that you create, in the posts that you make, in what you're doing. And the more you will receive in maybe you're getting new clients, maybe you're getting people joining your, your business, maybe you're getting more sales. That's going to show through in what you're doing and how you're doing it. And nobody needs to know how much money you have or don't have. That is none of their business, actually. It's how you feel and what you are creating for yourself. Doesn't that make sense? Think about it. It makes a lot of sense. And it gets easier and easier as your lifestyle that you are having the fantasy or the imagination to have comes to light. I don't know how many of you seen the post that was put out today from Warren, about Warren Buffett, richest man in the world. How he started at the age of, was it 11? And got a book on how to make a hundred, make a thousand dollars in your spare time, I think it was. So if you take the mentality of someone that has done it, that, well, thank you guys for putting comments here in the chat. I really appreciate that. That I am so grateful that people are actually. I'm grateful that you guys are getting the concept. Thank you so much for that. So take a look at what he has done and what he started out as a child, knowing that he was going to be successful. Even though he came from a very poverty-stricken family, a family that didn't have much, but yet he knew he was going to take it further. He was going to be somebody. And you can be the person you want to be doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter what your lifestyle has been in the past. None of that matters. It's because, you know what, you cannot change the past. You're in the now. And now is when you can change the future. So what you change and what you evolve in now and your mentality and your mindset will take you to the future. What do you see your future being? Write it down in detail. What do you see your future life being? Do you see you having, you know, the cars, the homes, you know, the, the vacations, the clothes, you know, whatever you see you yourself having, that's what you are going to start attracting to you. And keep writing it down in detail. And these details will change, you know, daily, weekly, or whatever. We'll keep them updated. Uh, yes, you change your future in the now, which is right this minute. This is the now. And anything you do in the now will change your future. So what decisions you make now, if you may make a decision to get a prosperous home business, and that's what you want because that gives you the freedom to travel and to make money as you travel with your family and to have that lifestyle. That is the easiest way to do it. And it's frustrating and it's hard sometimes and it's a lot of work. You don't get a home business just by sitting on your duff. You have to do the work and it takes daily work every day. You have to work your business and you have to put heart and energy into what you're doing. So keep in mind, you can have and be the wealthiest person in the world that you want to be. And for some people, it's not about having time freedom. They just want to be able to buy the few things they need for their family. And that's fine, too. There is nothing wrong with that. You do not have to have a million dollars to be happy. You do not have to have a million dollars to take your family somewhere. You don't. 
There's a lot of places you can take your family. You just have to make the time, and I'm saying make the time to do just that. Okay, guys, I hope this helps a lot of you out there, and especially even on the replay, to see that the wealth begins with you, whatever you want your life to be. So keep that in mind as you're going through your now, and make notes, write it down, make drop a verbal picture of what you want your life to be. Take pictures and post them on your, your board or whatever you need to do to see that. And it will come to you. It may not come just like that, but it's going to come in time. So keep in mind that you are in control. You can change your life anytime you want. It's all up to you. So I hope you guys have a super blessed day. And thank you all for joining me here this morning. And thank you for everyone who made comments and participated in the conversation. Thank you so much. And, oh, just a, just a tidbit, I had a a live call with people last week and it went fabulous it was on my zoom and I'm still learning that program that the part where everybody can talk but just to let you guys know it went fabulous and everybody was happy okay oh hey John you need a mentor okay I tell you what give me a messenger message and that way I will know which one you are and I'll get back to you okay I will chat with you all later and thank you so much again guys for joining me you are blessed thank you so much I will chat with you later okay bye-bye